the, the, you know, the reason I'm a fan of yours, the reason I fell in love with uh, your comedy and your style of everything is Operation Good Guys, the, yeah. what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if it's, you know, for you, maybe it's too old to talk about or whatever, but I absolutely love that that show. Yeah, um, it was a bit of a phenomenon, really, because yeah. I used to love a programme called Cops. Yeah. Right? And it was an American documentary, fly on the wall, real series. And I thought, wouldn't it be good, and this is a true story, right? <laughs> it's come out at last, right? I thought, let's make a drama, a scripted sort of drama, improvised scripted yeah. drama, um, deadly serious, about cops, you know, cool cops. And we <laughs> we made a, a pilot or a promo of it, sent it into the BBC. And I got a phone call from Hugo Blick, who at the yeah. time was at the BBC. And phoned me up, he goes, Ray. And I says, yes. He goes, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I went, oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah, we meant it to be a comedy. And then it developed from there, you know. Um, and I was really pleased. I loved doing it. Yeah. I, I absolutely loved doing it. And there is talk of us doing the One for the Road movie Ooh. of Operation Good Guys. Yes, please. Uh, and it, it just needs, you know, I think it needs, and it, it, deadly serious, this is happening as we speak. We're looking for a young writer who we can transfer our thoughts to, yeah. to bring, you know, it is old. It's old, you know, I don't know, 20 years old or something. Yeah, like 97 that. was the first series, I think. So it needs fresh blood. Using some of the old characters in there, the yeah. main characters, but have fresh blood in there and a fresh approach, you know. Um, and hopefully we will be doing that pretty soon. Oh, that's, that's music to my ears, honestly. Good. Yeah. yeah, absolutely adore that show. And, you know, it's just like you say, there's, there was definitely, come, especially series two and three, there's no question that that was a, a comedy. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone could have watched it. Well, you, thought, what was, are these real police? <laughs> well, that happened at the beginning. And um, people just didn't get it at first. They yeah. thought, is this some weird documentary or, or, or what? Are we following buffoons? And they gradually fell in. Yeah. Gradually fell in. And the BBC are terrific at hanging in there. They got it, you know, yeah. and they said, let's just keep going because the ratings did plummet from the first two episodes. It, I think it had the biggest downturn in ratings <laughs> in BBC history, but they stuck with it yeah. and it became a very popular, you know, award winning yeah, yeah. series, yeah, which yeah, I'm yeah. very proud of. Behind the camera filming today is my older brother, mm -hmm. um, and uh, <laughs> but I one of the things I, I love about watching your films is waiting for Mark, your brother, oh, to yeah. pop up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you seem to have like a really good relationship with him, and I expect some of the things you made him do in uh, Operation. I do it for guys. fun. I do it for fun, <laughs> and he. Uh, Oh, he's great. And we're very close. And all yeah. my brothers are very, very close. Um, and Mark, he, you know, he's done his time. He was Stu Pot in, in Grange Hill. Yeah. Um, and I've got him in this film. Okay. I've got, I can't do a film without my brother. You know what I mean? Um, but he's great. But I do get him to do outrageous things <laughs> purely to wind him up. Yeah. You know, he does camp really well, you know. So I, I get him to do look, camp a lot. The things that specifically stick out to me is. Uh, him painted red in the Baldy song, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, when night turns to gay, and you can basically see his testicles. In that. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you can. <laughs> Tiny thong yeah. that he's dancing. Yeah, we kind of come up with uh, what what should we put Mark through now? But he does it so well. Yeah, and he pulls it off, and he, he he's a very very funny man, you know, Mark, and uh, that's that's his talent, you know. Yeah. And so as long as you've uh, you're directing, he's going to pop up somewhere. Is that yeah, yeah <laughs> you got to look after him. Of course you do. <laughs> it's, I'm doing the same thing, you know. No, but that's good. That's good. <laughs> I like love keep that. Keep him in jobs, you know. Keep. <laughs> I think family are everything, and like me, my crew, my actors. It might sound like a wanky director thing to say, but they are like my family, yeah. and I generally work with the same cast. I generally work with the same crew when, when they're available. Uh, and because I feel comfortable that way, I yeah. know my, they've got my back, you know, 
Um, so I think family is an important thing. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, another Operation Good Guys, uh, Perry Benson's been in this. Yeah, Perry's well, in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all the um, You pull them all out, <laughs> mate. They're all in it, you know. So what? <laughs> but it's lovely, you know. And it's it, like I say, as a fan, it's great to see when people pop up and you're like, oh, they, you know. Yeah, no, it's nice, you know. And it, if they weren't any good, I wouldn't use them. You have to embarrass yourself, Mark.